everyone welcome back to my channel and happy new year happy 2024 january is officially here and i'm quite excited for this year i'm excited to create some new content it is officially at the end of this month officially a year for me on youtube as well i started in january 2023 towards the end of the month I think I can't remember the exact date but yeah I've I've pretty much done a whole year of YouTube and I have learned so much I have had so much fun I honestly don't remember what I did at the weekends <laughs> when I wasn't filming I just have a really good feeling about this year and I don't know why yet I don't know for what reason but I just really like the number 2024 <laughs> I don't know why I think it's just a nice even number isn't it I like twos and fours and zeros so yeah anyway enough rambling I thought today I've literally just finished popping a bit of makeup onto my face I thought that today we could have a bit of a reset day I love a reset day at the start of every month but especially at the start of January now we are a few days into January as you're watching this of course because I upload on a Sunday but nevertheless it is not too late I can't get my earring in it's not too late to have a reset so yeah I'm going to take you along on my day I want to clear up the house a little bit I have already taken the decorations down so that is done there is pretty much no more Christmas in the house it feels very empty it feels like a real blank canvas again which is strange because obviously we did move into this house in June and I suppose we've been working on so much in the meantime and I have bought quite a lot for the house but all of a sudden now I'm looking at it and I'm like there is so much space in this house, especially the living room. It looks like we've just moved in again. It's really strange. I want to have a bit of a reflection on last year and maybe a bit later as well, I'll chat to you about some of the things that I'm going to be focusing on for this year, uh, short term and long term, maybe some things that I want to achieve. I'm not really going to go hard this year on like resolutions as such. I think last year, there was quite a lot that I wanted to achieve and improve on. I'm kind of going into it now, aren't I? But I wanted to really sort my skin out because this time last year I was really, really struggling with my skin and it it has come a long way. I wanted to reach 10,000 followers on Instagram, which I did. I think it was the end of November that I did from memory. Um, and just various other things. I wanted to improve my diet. I had kind of a few visual pictures of like fashion, places, aesthetic. Obviously the house was on there and we managed to buy a house last year as well. But this year, I don't know why. I just, I don't feel ready to do that yet. And I think there can be quite a lot of pressure at the very end of December to come up with all of your goals, come up with your vision board, have everything written out and, you know, taped in of exactly what you want to achieve in 2024 and I think it's perfectly okay to not have it figured out by the 1st of January so I think over the course of January I'm going to maybe put some bits together I haven't done a vision board yet just because I don't really feel like I'm in the right headspace to do so maybe once I've had my reset day today I'll be a bit more in the mood I'm still kind of in this like post Christmas come down at the moment but yeah i just have a few things that maybe i'll note down i want to get organized i want to get organized with my content creation so yeah now whilst i'm here the only thing i haven't done is my hair and i wanted to show you one thing that i did excuse my hair <laughs> one thing that i did pick up in the boxing day sales if i move back slightly so one thing that i did buy in the sales is a pair of cloud nine hair straighteners i don't know if i've mentioned i probably have but I have wanted a pair of straighteners for quite a while and a good pair of straighteners as well. Obviously when I wave slash curl my hair, at the moment I am using my Foxy Locks hair curlers, which I love by the way. And I will show you, maybe I'll show you um, in a video this month because a couple of people have asked me about it, how I use this to do my hair to kind of get that really nice wavy effect. But I don't know I want to mix it up a little bit and I want to try a style using some straighteners more of like you know that kind of blow-dried flicky look 
is what I want to try and go for. I've literally like not used them at all. I've taken them out of the box and put them in this and haven't touched them, mainly because I haven't washed my hair. <laughs> I washed my hair yesterday night. So yeah, if I take this part off, so I will know they get a three year warranty on them as well, which is good. And I went for this gorgeous midnight blue color mixed with like a lovely, lovely gold. So I think this is officially known as the Midnight Blue Iron. This is the standard one. So I don't know how well you'll be able to see inside, but you can see all of the temperature settings in there. I wanted this as well because God forbid if you were to forget to turn them off, they actually go into like sleep mode after 30 minutes of like inactivity as well which is really good. They heat up quickly. Um, but yeah, as I said, I haven't tried them yet. So I think what I'm going to do is take my hair out, give it a brush, put a bit of dry shampoo in. At the moment, I'm getting on really well with the Batiste Volume Dry Shampoo. This is the one that I think a lot of people use, and I do really like this. Um, but also, this tends to make my hair just feel a bit nicer and I would say it does actually give me a fair bit of volume too. I do I do notice a difference between the two. So I have stocked up on this. This one's not really got much left in it. But I normally put this on before bed. I didn't last night because I just washed my hair. But I normally put this on before bed. And then when I wake up in the morning, it does feel like completely clean and completely normal. So if you've got quite fine hair that quite often feels quite flat, then I would recommend this actually because it is a good one. Let me have a go on the hair straighteners and I will come back to you in just a moment once I've had a bit of a play. Guys, I've failed at the first hurdle. I don't know how to turn it on. <laughs> Where is the on button? Am I going mad? Oh, <laughs> it's in here. That was a sneaky on button. I've just done the first section of hair. I'm gonna spray it with a bit of hairspray just to try and keep the shape because my hair has a habit of coming out. Oh, hello. It's just given like a really nice kind of bounce. I'm gonna do the top layer of my hair slightly differently to the way that I've done this and we are done. Now, don't get me wrong, this does look a bit crazy. <laughs> I need to just give it one last quick spritz. I like to leave it, whether I'm using a curler or now a straightener, I like to leave it as long as I possibly can before I brush it out, just because again, it kind of helps the curls to set. I'm going to use, I have like this big wide tooth comb basically to brush the hair out. Now this is my first attempt. <laughs> if I give it a quick brush, Again, I don't know how well my hair is going to hold this, but we're going to go with it. Wow, I quite like that actually. Okay, what do we think? Now this is considerably different actually to when I use my curlers. I wasn't sure how much of a difference there was going to be, but this is actually quite quite a difference. I'm gonna get all of this stuff packed away. I wanted to show you actually, James has just come and brought these into the room whilst I was doing my hair. So I know that we're no longer talking about Christmas, but I popped in to my local Dobby's garden center. If you haven't been in there yet and looked at their kind of sale Christmas decorations, highly recommend. As you can see, these were $24.99 and they are, hopefully if I can do it without the window light, they are just absolutely stunning, like giant green glass baubles. They were 50% off. So I took them to the till and I was like, do you know what? For nine of these, I'll pay £12.50. Like that's pretty good. Took them to the till. Sorry if you can hear James hoovering in the background. Took them to the till, five pounds. And it's that kind of situation where you're like, do I say something? Do I not say something? I'm not really sure, but I went with it. They were definitely five pounds. So I call that a bargain. Are you gonna say happy new year to everybody? Let's just rotate you. Say happy new year. Happy new year, everyone. <laughs> 
We are going to head out now that for the first time in what feels like a week, it has stopped raining. So we're gonna head out whilst we can. I also want to pop to the paint shop a little bit later. I think it's Brewer's um, paint shop that we have near us because I want to go and tick off something that's been on my list for ages that I've just not done, which is pick out some paint samples for the master bedroom upstairs so that's a task that i want to do i've got a couple of colors in mind so i'm going to test them out and we'll go from there but anyway let's go for a stroll let's go for a stroll on here but we've been to the paint shop we stopped for a little costa which was next door as well we were going to go to a paint shop um, which was just around the corner from our house but what I actually didn't realize until we'd already left the house in the car was that it was closed so we made a little bit of a diversion and found another shop we found a home base that stocked Faro and Ball, so I'll show you those when we get home. We are on the way back. I am enjoying, well I haven't started it yet, but I'm going to enjoy. Oh, I haven't got my little, um, my little chocolates in my pocket. I got one of the Terry's chocolate orange hot chocolates. It's a bit of a mouthful, but I haven't had my little chocolate that goes with it. And we are home. I have to say, Terry's chocolate orange is one of my absolute favorite hot chocolates i just i can't get enough of this if they did this all year round to be fair if they did it all year round i think maybe the novelty would wear off whereas when they bring it out at christmas it's like you, you like you have to go and have one hey fluff hey fluff i don't think my hair has quite uh lasted in the wind because we went for an incredibly windy walk. <laughs> Let me show you the paint that I picked up. So I picked up two samples. First sample that I went for was Elephant's Breath. It's really tricky to kind of see exactly what these are gonna look like, to be honest, until they're on the wall. This is apparently part of the gray neutral range. Gray, I hear you say, that's not your color, Lindsay. Well, it's not, <laughs> but I've seen this on Instagram and I've seen it in people's houses and I really, really like it. And I think it's light enough that it will brighten the room, but also not too light. I think it will be, it is still quite dark neutral. So I'm going to test this on the wall and see how it looks. And I'll have to test it in a few places as well. And then the other one I picked up, if I can find the front of it, the other one I picked up was a bit of a Faro and Ball classic, I think, which is Skimming Stone. Now, when you compare the two, Skimming Stone is quite a bit lighter and it does make Elephant's Breath look a little bit grey, I think, in the camera. But again, I've seen Skimming Stone in some homes and in certain lights it does look, it's not going to focus, in certain lights it does look quite a bit darker than you think. So... Yeah, I'm going to test them both out. I'm going to see how I get on with them. Um, I'm definitely not going to get the actual Faro and Ball paint. I'll probably get them colour matched like I did with the media unit because that was literally bang on when Brewers colour matched it. I think I've got a bit of tidying to do upstairs as well and a bit of washing to put away. So we'll get that done once I have finished my very, very cosy warm drink.
So these are the two paint samples. I'm going to take these off the walls because <laughs> they're distorting it and they're confusing me. I do like the coat paint samples because you can literally just stick them on the wall and then take them straight off and not have to worry about it. But anyway, so the top one is Elephant's Breath and then the bottom one is Skimming Stone. Um, you can obviously see them a bit brighter on the camera than you actually can in real life if they want to focus. You can see the difference compared to the really like cold bluey grey that we've got on the wall at the moment. I think the top one at the moment could be in first place but I do still also like the bottom one. I think I'm just going to have to put a few more coats on and see how they look because up close the top one's my favourite definitely. It's an absolutely gorgeous like really warm greyish neutral colour um, whereas the bottom one is quite um, a bright off-white colour. But you just don't know what's going to happen when they dry. I think if it looks as bright as it does on the bottom, on this really dark grey, then maybe that signals to me that it's going to be too light in here. The last ones I've done are over here, which is looking a bit uh, a bit bare at the moment, much like the rest of the house. But again, you've got quite an off-white colour and then you've got a much warmer colour. And this is the space especially that's making me want to go for elephant's breath because we've got such white furniture over on this side of the room that maybe I do want the slightly darker colour. I think it could be the winner. I really do. If it looks anything like it does at the moment on camera, I think it will be gorgeous. And I think it will be like a touch of colour to the room without being too overpowering and without being too dark and kind of taking away from the rest of the room. Now I have got some lights as well which I've chosen for this room. I don't know how well you'll be able to see, it might be better if I show you, um, show you the box <laughs> rather than taking the light out because it's not been built. Basically I've gone for these really really lovely like brass glass lights. There's a bit of a theme in this house when it comes to lights isn't there? But these were in the Dunelm sale, I think they still are, for £25. And the reason I love these is, although they're wall lights, they're actually plug-in. So as long as you've got a socket down the side of your bedside table, it doesn't matter about having to feed anything through the wall, you can just plug it in. So I'm basically planning to put the two lights either side of the headboard here. And so I think with this nice brass colour, it kind of ties in to that elephant's breath, doesn't it? And if you look at the colour of these cushions as well, I mean, cushions can always be changed, but if you look at the colour of the cushions, it's very similar. I think that might be the one. I'm kind of like convincing myself, aren't I? But yeah, I really like these. I'll link them down below because I think £25 is a pretty good price. We're probably not gonna put these up until we've painted the room, but saying that, I might get a bit impatient and just do it anyway. <laughs> but I love these. I thought I'd show you how the living room is looking as well. So obviously it pretty much looks the same here, but I've just rearranged the media unit slightly. And this side of the room <laughs> is looking very empty. I've put the chair where the Christmas tree was. The chair was originally here, and it doesn't look like there's a huge amount of space here. But then when you pull the door shut, if I stand back, look how much space there is behind the door. It just looks so empty. My plan for this console table, at the moment, I'm going to leave it here until we get something to replace it. I've just put a few things on here, basically just to style it up so that it doesn't look like a completely blank canvas. So I've taken this vase from up in our bedroom and popped it on here. I've taken this off of the media unit and then the Fortnum and Mason hamper I've just <laughs> stuck in there as well. But yeah, otherwise it is back to normal in here, to be honest. I've changed, as I said, I've changed a few bits over on here. So you'll see the tray that I got for Christmas from my mum is down on here. I've just popped a cute little set of matches inside it, which is from B&M. I had quite a few questions as well about my olive tree from the last video that I did where I showed you the basket that I bought, which still needs a lot of padding inside to basically give the tree a bit of height. But the tree is from Amazon. I will link it down below. It's five foot five. You can get some that are bigger and you can get some that are smaller. But when I got it, it was a really good price and it does kind of go in and out of sale. So definitely save it down and keep an eye on it. It's a really lovely, realistic looking olive tree as well. Whilst I'm in here, I thought I would show you, we have a brand new light up here, finally. 
the ones that came with the house, literally all throughout the house, I just personally was not a fan of and they did not match our colour theme. I don't know how much closer I'm going to be able to get you to it because I am not very tall. But yeah, we got this basically three arm light from Next. We will sense a bit of a theme in this house because a lot of the lights that we've gone for kind of follow this like brass top and then glass kind of bulb theme. So yeah, this is the one that we've gone for in the living room and I think it's lovely. I was thinking about this blank wall um, yesterday as well and I started to have a bit of a browse online for a mirror. I did consider some artwork, but what I'm thinking is this patch of wall. Oh gosh, <laughs> I nearly fell into the sofa. This patch of wall just here, I'm thinking I'm gonna put some artwork up on there because obviously this side of the media unit, you've got the olive tree, which will be a bit higher. But this little patch here, I just think is perfect for a nice portrait piece of artwork. So that will go up there as in when I find it. This wall is going to be my mirror wall. So I was having a look online and I'm really, really fussy when it comes to mirrors. I don't know why, I just, I really struggle to find mirrors that I like and I wanted one in here that was going to match all of the greens all of the wood kind of textures so I knew that maybe a metal one wasn't going to work a super like shiny one wasn't really going to work so I spotted one on I think it was William Wood Mirrors I'll pop a picture of it up on the screen but it basically is almost the full length of the sofa and it's a nice um well you can have it portrait or landscape and it's a really nice like washed wood color so once it arrives I will show you it might not be till next week's video hopefully just realized the cushions are all completely mixed up as well but <laughs> we'll go with it but um yeah hopefully it matches i did check on their website to see if they did free returns and they do for 90 days so i thought i'm just going to order it because they had a really good sale on and it was 25 percent off so i saved 50 pounds almost expecting it to be kind of like the colour of this coffee table almost but you'll be able to see in the picture so yeah let me know what you think but <laughs> hopefully it will be here in the next couple of days so I'm very excited to get that and over on this wall I don't know why I'm giving you a bit of a living room update but we're just going to go with it okay <laughs> over on this wall my plan is actually to get some panelling done but what I want to do is basically have a line across the middle and then I want to have three boxes along the top and then three boxes along the bottom. So very traditional panelling. And then what I can do in the three boxes is I can either put a piece of artwork into each box with like a little light above it or, you know, whatever I fancy. Or I can just put some artwork into the middle box and have the other two boxes clear. But I think that will be a really nice way to basically fill this wall without actually putting anything on it oh my gosh i was gonna show you the beaming sun that was outside but just as i turned around the camera it disappeared the sun is trying to come out it just keeps raining and then the sun comes out and then it rains again but yeah it's kind of yeah look you can see you can see a bit of blue sky up here this is the first bit of blue sky we have had in nearly a week so i am taking it i have to say gosh look at my hair I have to say, although I'm not a summer person, I do like the sun. I don't like the heat, but I like the sun. I really love, I love, love, love the feeling of spring. And I know we're still probably a couple of months off of that yet. It's normally the end of February where we start to kind of get the signs of spring, I think from memory. Once you start getting that sunshine, you get little flowers, you get little daffodils coming up. I think it's such an exciting time. I love spring. I would go as far as to say I prefer spring over summer because it's warmer but it's not super hot and it's just, I love the feeling of like exciting things to come, like new life in nature and yeah, I'm going off on a bit of a tangent but it just, it makes me feel excited when it gets to midwinter and Christmas is over and you just start to see little glimpses of sun. I just yeah i love it anyway there are some more lights that i want to show you we've also got new lights in each of the hallways so we picked up three of these and they are from ikea would you believe it and they were 25 pounds we also have a very very similar one in the snug 
which was a lovely gift to us and it was from Next from, um, from a lovely family member. So we thought we'd pop it in here because I feel like it matches the theme really well. It's got a nice brass colour to it and they let out, if I can find the light switch, they let out loads of light as well and I love the colour of this one when the light's on. I think it's a really nice warm colour. So yeah, I'm a big fan of that one. Okay, I've managed to get quite a bit done. I've got all the washing away upstairs. I literally have one pile on the bed here, which I need to put into my wardrobe. I am putting even more Vaseline onto my lips because they are so sore at the moment. I, do, I know I've already spoken about this, but well, I wouldn't say they're super sore. They're just, they're really, really dry. Anytime I am like super deep in thought or I'm, re I'm like quite nervous or I'm feeling a bit anxious. The first thing I do is like chew my lips or like pick my lips and it's a really bad habit. And every time James sees me doing it, he always tells me off, but I don't know. I just, I can't seem to like stop myself doing it, especially when they're dry as well. I think when your lips get dry, you're constantly like licking your lips and trying to like touch your lips and help your lips. And it just ends up making them so much worse. I haven't had any lunch but it's now 10 past three. So I'm kind of thinking, is it worth me having lunch? I've just um, I've just had an email to say that my William Wood mirror has been shipped and I can't wait. I literally can't wait, I'm so excited. Anyway, yeah, I haven't had any lunch yet, but I think my, um, I think my cost has probably filled me up, to be honest. But one thing that I've also uh, been doing on my phone is I added like quite a few widgets. It's been really nice to kind of have a few little prompts on my on my home screen and things to just like not so much read all the time but to just have there and to just kind of um subconsciously see them and be reminded of them one of the quotes that i have which is like on the middle screen where i've got a couple of pictures and i basically like change the pictures around seasonally as well so the top quote I have is, believe in yourself and you will be unstoppable, which I've had on there for ages. And I don't really look at that one as much, to be fair. But the other one that I've got, which is much bigger on the screen, the one that I found on Instagram, and I don't know why, but it just, I think everyone's a bit different, but it just really resonated with me. I'll read it out. So it says, everything will happen the way it has to happen. Everything you're stressing about will eventually fall into place. You will be able to see that you're guided and protected. There is nothing to worry about. Just be present and be your best that you can be. All is well. I don't know. I just, when I'm feeling really, really nervous about something or I'm feeling really anxious or I'm dreading something, I'm panicking about something. Um, it just, I don't know. I just flicked that bit on my home screen and it's so easy to get to. Like, I don't have to go into any apps to get to it. I don't have to like have a, a physical book or anything. It's just there and it's there on my home screen. It calms me, it reassures me. There is nothing to worry about. Just be present and be your best that you can be. All is well, like everything will happen the way it has to happen. Everything you're stressing about will fall into place. It's just a nice quote. If you haven't already and you, you've, I don't know about Android, but if you wanted to add that as something to, onto your lock screen, I think you can add photos onto your lock screen but there's also an app that i use and i got it ages and ages ago it's called widget smith um i'll see if i can find a way to link it below but yeah it's called widget smith and it allows you to add loads of different apps onto your lock screen like calendars photos clocks all these um all these cool things and that's how i do the photos as well and i think it's just a nice yeah it's a nice reminder and it's something that i'm going to keep um sorry i feel like the light in here is really weird why is it so why is it so bright <laughs> besides that to be honest i think this year my main focus is going to be just slow living like being calm looking after myself self-care like just i think enjoying time enjoying the seasons enjoying the house um enjoying life enjoying my family my friends we bought our house in 2023 which was obviously like the biggest achievement ever um but from like the day that we moved in which was the first of june all the way to the end of the year it was just painting decorating projects paneling like 
buying furniture, organising the house, figuring out like a new routine, figuring out storage. James especially, like he is so big on golf and he didn't really get to play very much golf for the last half of the year because we were so busy in the house and obviously there were things that I would have done and um, events I would have gone to or places I would have visited but a lot of our time went into the house so I think this year now that we've got the majority of the big projects done that we want to get done minus a few little things we want to just enjoy the house and kind of sit back put our feet up you know deck I'm going to continue to decorate it because I can't help myself <laughs> like I'm always going to buy decor I'm always going to buy furniture because that's what I love and it's so exciting but we just want to enjoy it this year we want to just kind of slow down chill calm like enjoy ourselves basically and just appreciate the small moments and be grateful um, of where we've got to and what's to come personally i want to just continue to look after myself i want to try and keep to a good diet i want to make sure i'm drinking more water because i did start doing that at the start of 2023 and then i kind of let it slip um, I want to keep on top of my vitamins so autumn winter I always take vitamin C and also vitamin D but there are some others that I maybe want to add in to kind of what I take daily like magnesium I know is really good for various reasons especially for women as well so I want to just keep on top of that keep on top of my water intake I've kind of got like my own personal financial goals which I won't go into but otherwise, the other thing obviously for me is that I want to continue to grow on here, grow on my Instagram. I maybe need to put a little bit more time and effort into TikTok because I am a little bit rubbish on there. I think out of all the communities, TikTok is the one where I'm kind of like, mm, I haven't quite figured that out yet. I think it's definitely um, a younger audience on TikTok. But equally, I think out of all the platforms, TikTok is the one where people seem to just get the most like, <laughs> like crazy comments where you're like, whoa, <laughs> like you must be having a really bad day. But yeah, I don't know. I'm still kind of figuring that one out and I do need to get better at it because I think the, the scale of TikTok and the future of TikTok is only going to grow. Um, so that's something that I need to put a little bit more focus on but YouTube and Instagram are still going to remain like my number one focus between between the two obviously Instagram is really good for kind of day-to-day -day stories it's very 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 rare that I go a day without posting something on my Instagram stories so if you do have Instagram and you're not already following me on there then that is a good way to kind of keep up with the day-to-day -day life but you also get to see much more of my house on there and I think this year on Instagram as well I'm going to try and incorporate a bit more of me rather than just my house I think I want the account to, I want to be able to kind of let my followers get to know me a bit better. The main thing I think for me this year is to just be happy and healthy and whatever comes my way <laughs> based on that will, you know, be for the right reasons and what will be will be this year. I'm just taking a much more relaxed approach, which is not natural for me i very much like to be in control so yeah it's going to feel a bit different but i'm very excited i'm very excited for this year i think with that i've been rambling for long enough i think i will probably wrap up the video here um hopefully it's not been too much of a mishmash vlog but i really hope you've enjoyed spending the first video of the year with me and once again happy new year i really hope january serves you in the best way possible i know that january can be a bit more difficult for people um i don't like to mention like the january blues and things but it, it is a thing and a lot of people talk about it so i think enjoy yourself this january like enjoy the cozy evenings whilst we've got cozy evenings left find a way to kind of enjoy 
maybe a not so nice weather at the end of the day what is it that they say there's no such thing as bad weather <laughs> just bad clothing or bad preparation so get yourself some wellies get yourself a raincoat go out in the rain and still go for a walk still get some exercise get into nature clear your head do what you need to do to find a way to just enjoy this january because that's what i've decided i'm going to do so yeah with that i am going to go and cozy up on the sofa probably with james who i think i can hear has just turned on the tv so we're going to find a nice film to watch this evening and then i am going to be making one of james's favorite dinners which is mac and cheese <laughs> he absolutely loves it and to be honest i love it as well it's a dish that i'm quite proud of so i will make that for us this evening and yeah i will see you in next week's video goodbye